بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے لیکچر از اباؤٹ انٹروڈکشن انڈو کرینالوجی انڈو کرینالوجی از اے برانچ آف بایولوجی ان میڈیسن ڈیلنگ وتھ دا انڈو کرائن سسٹم اٹس ڈیزیزز اینڈ اٹس اسپیسیفک سیکریشن نون ایز ہارمونز دا ملٹیپل ایکٹیویٹی آف سیل ٹیشو اینڈ آرگن آف دا باڈی آر کوآڈینیٹڈ بائی دی interplay of several type of chemical messengers these are the endocrine glands if we start from the brain so we have pituitary gland in the neck we have thyroid gland and on on the posterior aspect of the thyroid gland we have two pair of parathyroid glands on the top pole of the kidney we have adrenal gland and here pancreas is a dual gland which play the role of endocrine and exocrine gland and in female we have ovaries and in male we have testes so these are the various gland which are found at various location in the human body principal function of endocrine system it is also concerned with the integration of developmental events proliferation growth and differentiation psychological or behavioral activity of metabolism growth and development tissue function sleep digestion respiration exercise mood stress location moment reproduction and sensory perception caused by hormones so round about all the function of body or controlled by the endocrine system the endocrine system is a messenger system comprising feedback loop of hormones released by the internal glands of organism direct directly into the circulatory system regulating distant target organ hormone setting in motion hormone or other time in motion is a class of signaling molecule in multicellular organism that are sent to distant organ by complex biological process to regulate psychology and behavior hormone are required for the correct development of animal plant and fungi hormone exert its effect far from its site of production the hormone where they are produced they exert their effect far away from its site of production endocrine glands endocrine glands have no duct vascular and commonly have intracellular vacuole or granule that store their hormone you can see that they have cells in these cells they have granules or vacuoles and in these granules or vacuoles they have their hormone and these hormone are directly released into the vessels and they have no duct they are ductless gland exocrine glands in contrast exocrine glands such as salivary gland sweat gland and gland within the gastrointestinal tract are much less vascular and have duct or a hollow lumen this is the gland and it has a lumen through which it secrete its secretion at the site near to the gland definition of hormone a chemical messenger which is produced by ductless gland or tissue and carried in the blood to a target organ where it effects a change in cellular activity so this is the factor cell 1 release the hormone to the blood vessels and these hormone then transported to the target cell where where it produce its effect so this is the classical definition of hormone that they are produced at one side and transported by blood to the other side in this figure these are the hormone producing cells they produce hormone in the blood and transported to the effector cell the cell on which they act classification hormone can be classified by several 
properties. Classification by site of action, classification by origin, classification by molecular structure, classification by solubility, and classification by type of receptor. So let's discuss them one by one. Classification by site of action. Autocrine. Autocrine are the hormone which are secreted by the cell and act on the same cell. The cell which produce the hormone act on the same cell. So this is called autocrine. This cell produces the hormone and then it act on this same cell. Paracrine. Paracrine are hormone when they are produced they act on the nearby cell which are located in premises of these cells which produce the hormone. Endocrine, we discussed that they are released into the blood vessel and act on a different site. Cytocrines are peptides secreted by cells into the extracellular fluid and can function as autocrine, paracrine or endocrine hormone. Example of cytokine include the interleukin and other lymphokines that are secreted. Paracrine, this is the effector cell and it produces the hormone and act on the nearby cell. The target cell is in the in its premises. Autocrine, the cell which produces these hormones, they act on the same cell. Now classification by origin. Neurohormone, they are endocrine and source are nerves. They are produced by the nerves at one point, they are carried to the blood vessel and act at other point. Glandular hormone, they are also endocrine source or glands. They are, are, these are various glands, pituitary gland, parathyroid gland, thyroid gland. From here, hormones are produced at another location or area. Classification by molecular structure. There are three types of hormone which are classified by molecular structures. They are peptides, steroids and amino acid derivatives. So peptides are insulin, glucagon, somatotropin, molecular stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, vasopressin, oxytocin, thyrotropin and ACTH. They are polypeptides. Steroid hormone are estrogen, testosterone, cortisol, aldosterone, corticosterones and progesterone. Amino acid derivatives are epinephrine, epinephrine, dopamine, thyroxine, T3 and T4, melatonin and serotonin. Classification by type of receptor. Cell surface receptors are generally classified into the following categories. Ligand, gate, ion channel, length receptors and enzyme length receptor and G protein. These are ligand gate, G protein and enzyme length receptors. All classes of hormone elicit the majority of their physiological effect via specific receptors which are located in three separate compartments of the target cell. Cell membrane, peptide and glycoprotein hormone. These receptors on which the hormone act are located three locations in the cell, on the surface of the cell, in the cytoplasm and in the nucleus. So those hormones which act on the surface of on the receptor which are present on the surface of the cell, they are peptide and glycopeptide hormones. Cytoplasmic steroid hormone and nucleus thyroid and steroid hormone. The receptor which are present in the cytoplasm and on which hormone act, they are steroid in nature and also steroid hormone have receptor in the nucleus of the cell. Cell surface receptor, these receptors are embedded in the cell membrane and bind to the extracellular molecule to initiate cell signaling. Cell surface receptor are specialized integral membrane protein which allow communication between the extracellular space and the cell. 
The two main classes of cell surface receptors are enzyme-linked receptor. They possess both receptor and catalytic function. Here, an extracellular ligand binds to cause an enzymatic action on the intracellular side. The example of enzyme-like receptors are receptor tyrosine kinase. Intracellular receptors. These receptors are found inside the cell. The two classes of intracellular receptor are as follow. Nuclear receptors, receptor located within the cytoplasm. Those receptors which are found in the cytoplasm, they are also called the nuclear receptor because they act in both area. In particular, these receptors are protein present within the cell that are responsible for recognizing thyroid and steroid hormones. They work with other protein to regulate the homeostasis gene expression and metabolism of the organism. They also have ability to directly bind to the DNA. In the nucleus, an example of the hormone which acts in the nucleus on DNA is thyroid hormone. INSP3 receptor. Inositol triphosphate receptor act as a calcium channel by activating the INSP3 activate the release of calcium from the endoplastic reticulum. These receptors have a broad tissue distribution and are abundantly found in cerebellum. They are mostly found integrated into the endoplastic reticulum. INSP3 are, are vital for control of several physiological and cellular processes. G protein coupling receptor has three portion extracellular membrane integral portion and cytoplasmic or cytosolic portion. There are a large group of protein they can detect molecular molecules present outside the cell and activate further cellular response. They possess seven transmembrane helix they can activate a G protein on binding example is hierotropin receptor. They have membrane, transmembrane helix. This helix is seven in number and then they continue to the cytoplasmic portion which is called G protein which is composed of alpha, beta and gamma and when ligand is attached to it, this portion is activated. The G protein receptor is activated. Classification by solubility. Hormone are either soluble in water, they are peptide and catecholamines. Some hormone are protein bonds as a steroid and thyroid hormone. Secretion and duration of action of hormone. Some hormones such as norepinephrine and epinephrine are secreted within seconds after the gland is stimulated and they may develop full action within an other few seconds to minutes. The action of other hormones such as thyroxine or growth hormone may require one for full effects. So some hormones act quickly and some take months, days to develop their action. Thus, each of the different hormones has its own characteristic onsets and duration of action. Concentration of hormone in the circulating blood and hormone secretion rate. The concentration of hormone required to control most metabolic and endocrine function are incredibly small. They are, they are present in very small concentration. Most hormones are present in the blood in extremely minute quantity. Some concentrations 1 billion of milligram, 1 picogram, picogram is represented by PG per milliliter. Rate of secretion, they are secreted in, in microgram per day or milligram per day. Transport hormone in the blood. Water-soluble water soluble hormone, peptide and catecholamine are 
dissolved in the plasma and transported from the site of synthesis to target tissue where they diffuse out of the capillary into the interstitial fluid and ultimately to a target cell. Steroid and thyroid hormone in contrast circulate in blood mainly bound to plasma protein. Usually less than 10% of the steroid or thyroid hormone in the plasma exists free in solution. More than 99% of the thyroxine in the blood is bound to plasma protein. Regulation of half hormone secretion. Negative and positive feedback. They are the most common mechanisms and usually increase in serum level of hormone or related substances suppress further hormone output when there is increase in the concentration of hormone or other substances in the circulation their secretion is suppressed hormone production is stimulated when serum level fall when there is decrease in the hormone concentration it cause decrease release of the hormone when there is in decrease in the hormone concentration there from hypothalamus signals are sent to the pituitary they release the right stimulating hormone they turn the thyroid gland and there is production of thyroxine or thyroid hormone when the concentration is increased, they send negative feedback signal to the pituitary gland and to the hypothalamus and in this way they suppress the secretion of thyroid hormone or thyroxine. A nervous system versus endocrine similarity both send signal hormone and nerve send signals both affect specific target organ or tissue for both organ or tissue are specific both work to maintain homeostasis in the body both are crucial to coordinate function of highly differentiated cell tissue and organ differences nervous system is anatomically continuous. The nervous system mediates its activity through nerves directly supplying the organ and structure concern. They are just like a cable telephone. They are connected from its point of origin to the point of action. There is no break between the origin and in the target organ. Endocrine system is anatomically discontinued. The endocrine system broadcasts its hormonal messages to essentially all cells by secretion into the blood and extracellular fluid like a radio broadcast. The now is like a cable telephone and endocrine are like radio broadcast. Radio broadcast can be heard by mass community. So, in case of hormone, the hormone reach to each and every cell. On the other hand, the nerve only can communicate with its specific target organ. Nerve action is very rapid, while the endocrine action is slow response point to point very specific more diffuse short duration long duration the nerve action is for short duration while the endocrine action is for long duration coarse and rapid point and slow the nerve action is coarse and rapid and the endocrine action is fine and slow. Sensing and signaling. Endocrine gland synthesize and store hormone. The gland have a sensing and signaling system which regulate the duration and magnitude of hormone released by feedback from the target cell. Major element of endocrine sender, sending cell. And sending cell is the one which produce the hormone and signal is the hormone non-destructive medium 
blood and hormone binders select your receiver receptor protein its receptor are select you and they are received by receptor protein transduction transduction protein and second messenger transduction means transfer of one type of signal into the other type of signal or one type of sensation into the other type of sensation amplifier transducer effector enzyme they amplify the effect of the enzyme effector effector proteins what are the effector organ they are the effector protein and respond cellular response a cell is a target because it has a specific receptor for the hormone most hormones circulate in blood come in contact with the essentially all cell however a given hormone usually affect only limited number of cell which are called target cell hormone actually pass around each and every cell but they if the effect is on only limited cell for which they have receptors a target cell responds to a hormone because it bear receptor for the hormone Here you can see there are different type of cell and they have different type of receptor and these are the hormone this hormone will act this cell because hormone and the receptor match each other and they can bind with it this hormone cannot bind with this receptor this is hormone a and hormone b has receptor on this cell so it can bind with this receptor but cannot bind with this the effect will be the hormone b effect will be on the target cell hormone b those cells which have both type of receptor so both of the hormone will act on that thank you this was introduction to endocrinology thank you once again see you in the next lecture